Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So we see all these videos and all these news stories about all, all these strong and independent queens and all this other stuff, right? How they don't need men and men are trash and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and we see this all the time. But now what do we see also? All these videos on TikTok and Instagram and they're complaining about student loan payment, inflation, all this foolishness. But what they don't talk about, guys, is the rise in homelessness with women, okay? We have a larger percentage of homeless women now than ever before, and the number is rising. Well, guess what, guys? We're going to talk about that today. But before we do, like, subscribe, drop a comment, because it really helps keep this channel going. Check out my second channel linked in the description. I have a news story here, guys, and then we're going to go to the dumpster fire known as TikTok, because these chicks are even dumb enough to post about being homeless on the internet. <laughs> Here we go, guys, let's go. Women and homelessness, the numbers are on the rise and a new study out of New York reports it's happening at a far greater rate than recognized. Of course it is. There are more than 580,000 people who are homeless in the U.S. And of those, almost half, 223,000 are women. There it Many is. of those are single mothers, and as prices for everything skyrocket like rent and food, researchers say more and more families will be waking up with no place to call home. So I want to introduce you this morning to two women who are trying to break this cycle. Do you see how he said families? He said uh, single moms, and then, and then he said families, clown world. Watch. I didn't have a place to stay. Of course not. I had to see your four children at that time. My youngest was nine months old. To have him sit in the car seat for majority of his day. Maria Murga spent eight months homeless. Damn. Just gone through a divorce. I had just lost my job from 17 years. Faced with nowhere to go and nobody to help them, both CEO Sotelo and Maria made a call to bridge communities. 90% of the families we served are head of the head of the household are single moms. There it the is. The truth is the number one. 90% are single moms that this organization helps. Clown world. One reason for homelessness is the lack of affordable housing. A Please. brand new study out of the Homeless Project found women are more likely to experience hidden homelessness, living with family members, friends, in hotels, and in cars. Bridge Communities provides these families a home for two years, connecting them with local volunteers for financial counseling debt relief services, child care nutrition, mental health counseling, job training, and an education. And what we found somewhere between 18 months and two years was a good time frame for mom to get stabilized, save money, eliminate debt, and get prepared to launch back in. Our goal is to never return to homelessness. Now here's the thing, guys. This is for women who have kids. Because the social safety net is there for a lot of women who have kids. But once we go to TikTok, you're going to see that there's a lot of women out there that are young, that are in their 20s with no kids, and they're out there on the street just like dudes are. In fact, 82% of bridge community families never return to Of homeless. course not, because of government housing. percent are in steady and advancing careers. With the help of Bridge, CEO was able to pay off $20,000 in debt. $20,000 in debt. Do you think that they would give a guy $20,000 in debt help? No. It was hope when I, when I most needed it the most. She's now a registered nurse, and both CEO and Maria own their own homes. I am proud to say I am the first um, college graduate from my family. Bridge Communities has helped almost 1,000 families in Chicago in the past. Clown world. By the way, guys, so what happens is that these chicks end up homeless and just like the one who got divorced. I hope the divorce was, was worth it because she's probably one of those who got bored of her hu husband because he was a regular Joe that got up and went to work, okay? And then she probably found some feminist uh, 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 you know, relationship guru stuff that was like, hey, things are, are going to be better after divorce. And then she, then she divorced him and found out. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run up. And then she was homeless. Now, guys, let's jump to the wonderful world of, t 
a TikTok and check out some foolishness. I'm going to take y'all with me for a day in the life of a woman living in a tent. There it is. Just moved down to Florida. Me and my friend didn't have jobs. So we're like, let's move into a tent till we get jobs. Today's her first day at work, so she's not here. But I have got a lot to do today. First thing I'm doing is going to the gym because it's been a long weekend. This is our tent. It's pretty much in shambles right now. There it is. Look at that. We took all these blankets out the other night for a bonfire that we had. A bunch of random people that we don't know over. And then I have all these water bottles that I have to take to the water gallon station and fill them all. And this is after. Still not in great shape. And we were going to put pillowcases on those pillows, but we couldn't find them. So I sold all of my furniture, everything that I own pretty much. And everything that me and her own is in this small tent here. Clown world. Look at that. That's it. Th this is what I own. Brushing my teeth while camping is one of the biggest struggles, I think. I have to use this, wa oh, this water. And I always do it in my car for some reason. And I just spit right outside my car. Like Look at this, guys. <laughs> this is what's being strong and independent. They're just going to up and move to Florida without jobs. <laughs> and now they're living in a tent. They're living in a tent down by the river. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that. Like, it's just, it's pain. I never drank a swig of coffee back in Pennsylvania, but every day. I have not missed one day without coffee. Nah, and she's still buying coffee. <laughs> didn't have a job, can't find a place to live, and she's still buying coffee. Clown world! Guys, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on, you guys. Come on. You know that this is clown world. Guys, come on. Absolute foolishness. Women, right? Uh, I like to do things that I enjoy during the day, like I'm going to go to the gym and then go to the beach because once the sun goes down, it's not like I can go home and watch movies. It's like I'm going to go sit in my tent. So I'm going to do all the boring stuff after the sun goes down. 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. And 30 minutes on the treadmill, but I forgot to record it. So now I'm just doing a quick leg workout. Showered. I'm at the beach. Got a mimosa. And I bought this volleyball today. And she's buying stuff. And guys, there's simps in her com comments that are like, Well, you're beautiful, queen. <laughs> some, some people are clowning her too, but this one lady, lady goes, I wish I had done this. I got married and had kids. Now I'm too old. Good for you. Clown world. And I had to literally go into 15 different stores to find it. It was very annoying. My friend just got off work. I forgot to mention we worked the same job. So I asked her oh, now what her day jobs. was and she told me it was. It was terrible. <laughs> it was not, it was emotionally draining. Yeah, so to say the least. We're enjoying the last couple minutes of sunshine and then it's chore time. Chore. So chore time did not happen. We waved to a random man on the beach and now we're salsa dancing. <laughs> Thank you for joining. They went in a random dude's house. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to do something strange for a little bit of change. Right, guys? <laughs> oh, man. Hang us on this week's uh, living life in the day of the homeless woman. Sorry, guys. That's copyrighted music, so I don't want to play the rest of that. But, yeah, everyone's saying, dude, not cool, man. What are you doing? What are you, you doing? But this is what happens, man. This is how these chicks live. Clown world looks different for everybody who experiences it and everyone who experiences it feels differently about it and has different words that they want to use some people prefer the term homeless and other people prefer the term unhoused i personally prefer the term unhoused <laughs> Unhoused. 
I prefer the term unhoused. That would be like saying some people would prefer the word dead. I prefer unalived. <laughs> Oh man, look at the look at the look at the pink hair. Come on, dude. Look at this. These Mickey Mouse tattoos. Do you think that this person does anything productive in society? And her name is Sapphic Af Sapphic Safi. Sapphic means lesbian, right? So you we all know, guys. Come on. It's not like she's working 40 hours a week at a decent job, right? Guys, hashtag homeless. Hashtag unhoused. Hashtag LDHD TV. Hashtag sapphic. Come on, dude. Hashtag capitalism. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And it depends on whoever's going through it. You should oh, well. ask them what term they want. For my wife and I, our there situation is. is more of a hidden homelessness situation. Hidden homelessness is when you live in like a hotel or couch surfing, things like that, like not actively on the street, would be considered hidden homelessness. Regardless of the situation you're in, it is extremely isolating. I never thought my life would look like this. It is embarrassing, but it is what it is. The likelihood that you know someone who is unhoused is very high, even in your workplace. I personally think that everyone should have stable housing, regardless of their employment status. Ah, there it is. So everyone should have a place to live if they're working or not. So guys, she wants us, us, Especially men, because what she means is is what they always say, these people who want to redistribute wealth. We want men to give to us, right? Whether they're LDHD, TV, or women, whatever. They're trying to say us evil, evil men. And guys, where's the race card? Hold on. I could have bust this bad boy out, right? Guys. <laughs> and I'm saying this uh, as a black guy, and we all know that they mean you hetero cis white men need, need to give us everything. <laughs> oh man, oh man. You guys know that this is it's all Jermaine's fault clip. I need to make like a it's all Tyler's fault or it's all Trevor's fault or something where they just say or get that that sound effect. You're a white male. <laughs> Unhoused, guys. This this woman chose to be strong and independent, right? This is what the women who came before her fought for, is so she can be unhoused and be whining about it on TikTok with some goofy tattoos and pink hair clown world. A new lady today called me from the United Housing Connections. Her name is Susan. And she told me that she found a studio apartment for me. But... They're doing the application now, but before I move, I have to get a letter from my doctor saying that my two cats are emotional support animals. <laughs> I let it go, guys, because right when this face jumped up on the screen, you knew she was an old cat lady, right? <laughs> you knew it, didn't you guys? You knew it. You knew it. You knew it. You could feel it, right? And now she has to say that her cats are emotional support animals. <laughs> Guys, this is the future of modern women right here. And they're like, you can live here, but you'll have to give up your cats. And she said, how dare you? <laughs> They said, man, you got that you're going to need to give up your cat. She said, guys. No, no, I'm just emotional. Who are you that? <laughs> so they're giving her free housing and her, her cats are getting in the way. Clown world. Which they have supported me, you know. I'm supposed to go Wednesday and meet her at her office, so I guess I'll have you an update Wednesday, you know? I know it's a long time, but... There it is. Guys, hashtag in your 60s. My God. <laughs> hashtag homelessness. Hashtag hidden homelessness. Man, hashtag hope. <laughs> As this is the future for modern w women, okay? 
all throughout, like through over the last hundred years, you would only see homeless men, right? That's it. You'd never. Now you see it all, all the time, especially on the coasts. You know what I mean? You go to New York, Jersey, D.C., right? Miami. And then you go to the West Coast. It's a mess, right? Seattle, Portland, Oregon, L.A. You see homeless women more and more. But this is what they asked for, guys. This is what they asked for. Clown world. So, all right, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to keep the, this series going because there's a lot of homelessness out there for these chicks. Okay? <laughs> And a lot of the help is for single moms, you know what I mean? But a lot of women don't aren't even having kids anymore. By 2030, the majority of women over 30 won't have kids. So they're going to be on their butts. But here's the thing about us guys. We'll work two, three, three jobs. A lot of guys are not homeless unless they're, you know, PTSD and they, well, unless they have a damn good a good reason to not work include, which, which usually include, well, I don't want to say doing drugs is a good re reason, obviously, but, uh, you know, most normal functional men will not be homeless because we work. All right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you. See you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.